Yo, 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 what's good, YouTube fam? It's your boy, Joe Fit Johnson. I just wanted to come on here and tap in with y'all as I go on my walk to this coffee shop to get some work done, man. And I'm, I, I want to switch up the way that I'm creating my content a bit because I feel like I'm, I'm slowing up myself by only creating content when I'm at home at my desk, right? So we're going to do a lot of on-and-go content, right? I'm just take out my phone, take out my camera, and just get to document, man. So today what I want to talk about is mindset. You know what I'm saying? Something that is super duper important when it comes to leveling up, when it comes to developing yourself, um, is, is becoming more self-aware. And I talk about this a lot. I'm not sure if y'all can hear me due to that wind blowing. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm not really sure. I'm, I'm going to try to take a left. Hold up. I was in a little wind tunnel. I'm finna cross this street. I'm going to run make around for it. Bear with me. Bear with me. All right, man. So what I wanted to talk about, man, is the importance of um, self-discipline, man. And not only self-discipline, but getting through the barriers that you don't feel like doing, right? The only way that you can get to a place that you've never been is by doing the things that you've never done, man. And it's like nine times out of ten when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, whether it be business, whether it be fitness, whether it be um, taking a leap of faith, like we're not going to do the things, whether it's day to day, week to week, month to month, that we know that we need to do, right? And if you continue to, you know, procrastinate, right? Or if you continue to push it off or make an excuse on why you're not performing what you need to do, whether that be go, going to the gym, meal prepping, tracking, um, whether that be, you know what I'm saying, um, building your credit, taking out that loan for your business, uh, moving states, right? You're always gonna find yourself in a place of self frustration, right? Um, and something that I want to share with y'all, and the only way that you can really rebuild yourself and gain that self-confidence in yourself is by taking those steps that are needed. Hello. Um, taking those steps that are needed to complete the things that you don't feel like. it. Like when you complete a task that you know that you don't feel like doing, then you begin to have that self-confidence within yourself that you follow through with things that you need to do, right? And it feels good, you know what I'm saying? The same way that we go on our phone and we get a dopamine spike when we see likes on our Instagram or we see our TikTok going up or, you know what I'm saying, we're, we're getting messages. Like the same dopamine spike that we get from engaging in our phone, we'll get that same dopamine spike when we complete a task that we didn't feel like doing, you know? And I was um, actually listening to this podcast and I, I heard that those pain receptors that we get when we're procrastinating and when we don't feel like doing something are the same pain receptors that we have when we're um, in pain or, you know what I mean, um, yeah, in agonizing pain. All right, so with that being said, man, what I want to really push out to y'all, man, is to practice and to be super self-aware of the things that you don't want to do, right? And pay attention to when you're procrastinating and when you're avoiding completing those tasks. And when, you're, when you know that you're avoiding, and, this is something that I struggle with myself, right? So I'm speaking from firsthand experience. I've gotten really good at it, right? And that's why I've been able to get to where I am now. But I know in order to get to that next level and to continue to create this vision that I have of myself, because right now I'm not at the vision that I have for myself. And I know a lot of y'all that are watching this content are feeling the same way. You know that there's more, whether that be when you look in this mirror, you know that you're not showing up for yourself. When you're, you know what I mean, um, looking at your bank account, you know that that's not reflecting what your value is really at, you know what I'm saying? So when it comes down to it, it's really about crafting yourself and crafting and building your self value. And you start with that by doing it internally, by internally increasing your value within your own self belief, then other people will see the value in you as well. And that doesn't even really matter, but it does because when it comes to currency, when it comes to finances, it's it literally just an ener energy exchange, right? And the more that you can bring value to other people's lives, the more value that they are willing to exchange to you and give to you. Does that make sense? Um, whether that be, you know what I mean, solving a problem, right? Entrepreneurship is simply being able to solve a problem, right? Being able to provide clients to businesses, being able to fix um, whatever problem a business or a person may be having, right? Same thing with like music and artistry. Music is literally a... a, a uh, a form of art and uh, something that's going to help take someone out of their 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 current, you know what I mean, realm and into a, a different state, right? It's all energetic, all right? So in the same way, you're giving value to a person because you're able to take them from the state that they're in into an uplifted, you know what I mean, hype state or they're feeling their vibe in their R&B state, you know what I'm saying, or they're getting into their emotional bag, right? 
it's all value. You know what I'm saying? And I know that I've jumped around a little bit on these concepts, but I want y'all to just understand that at the end of the day, the best way to truly level up is to become more self-aware and practice the habits of doing the things that you don't feel like doing and being aware of those things that you don't feel like doing that you know you need to do, right? Because the number one thing that's holding you back is yourself, is ourselves. And once we can see that and know that and overcome that and walk by faith, everything doesn't have to be super planned out, super perfect for you to take that leap. Just go for it, right? And as the hurdles come up, you're going you're gonna to figure it out. And that's a part of this life, you know what I'm saying? And that's why we walk by faith, not by sight, baby. I hope y'all got some value out of this. Just a quick one, too. You feel me? Um, if you're liking this content, man, like, subscribe. Join my Discord, man. No Stagnation Discord. I'll put the link down there, but it expires pretty frequently. But if you're interested in that, go on my Instagram. You can click the link in the Instagram. I'll try to update that more frequently. Frequently. But yeah, that Discord is all about self-development, man. It's all about, you know what I mean, um, growing one's one's being, whether that be financially, spiritually, mentally, mind, body, and soul, baby. All right, so yeah, I'm finna go to this coffee shop, get this work done. Um, I just wanted to drop some some knowledge, some wisdom, uh, and some motivation for y'all today, man. Um, Hope y'all like this content, man. Joe Fitt Johnson gang, we are out.